know some booties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, do yourself a favor, subscribe, hit that bell notification, come join the team, because we getting baddies over here. All right, today's video I'm excited to do. I'm letting you guys know five things that women secretly want you to do, but they never tell you, never say it. They keep it in on the oh. Probably because they're pride and probably because their emotions tell them, you know, I should make him think he should do these certain things so he does them. But unconsciously, beneath the surface, they want you to do other things. Their female nature wants you to do other things. And if you provide these things for women, they're going to love you. They're going to fall in love with you. They're going to chase you. They're going to hunt you down because you're the one that knows the truth. So let's get right into it. The first thing women want you to do that they ain't gonna tell you. They want you to be too busy for them. That's right. No, I want you to spend all the time with me. I want you to make more time with me. You know, love me enough. Why are you always busy? Because I'm on my grind and on my purpose in life. I got places to go, things to do, people to see, and money to make. And if you taking away from that, you gotta go, baby. Look, I'll get around to it. We can hang out on the weekend, you know, I'll take you out on a little date, you know, and do a little something, something after the date, you know what I'm saying? Make you feel great, but I ain't got time to be all hours on end on FaceTime and checking in on you 24 hours a day. I got things to do. I got a purpose to fulfill, and women actually like this, and you'll never know it because they'll complain all the time. Why? You, you always lagging, you always, you always ain't got time for me, you always doing something else, something more important than me. First of all, you're not putting them on that pedestal, you know? The other dudes blowing them up, they don't like that. You might even hear women complaining to you about other dudes are so thirsty and doing the most and this and that. Meanwhile, you over here chilling. You over here grinding, you over here not chilling, but you chilling on them. You know what I'm saying? And it makes you mysterious. It makes you seem more valuable because you're putting yourself first. And women like that. It's attractive. So try it out if you haven't. Because if you haven't, I'm putting you on right now, bruh. I'm trying to tell you. I got you, Lincoln. All right, another thing that women like, but they'll never really tell you, okay? But they'll appreciate it. They'll, they'll show you love and let you know on a low when you do it, when you're well groomed, when you're taking care of yourself. Got your hygiene on point, you smelling good, you feeling right, you dressing nice, face looks smooth, buttery, you know what I'm saying? Buttery smooth, not, not like butter, but smoothness, like it's clear, it's clean, you on point, right? You looking bright, you're shining, you're glowing. Women notice that, they're like, oh my gosh, you look good. What you been doing? Oh, you wanna know what I've been doing? Tell them my secrets. I'm Teach Hanley, baby. And that's exactly why I'm excited to have T. Shanley as a sponsor of today's video. They've helped me start and maintain my skincare routine by making the entire process uncomplicated. And honestly, it's the best skincare product for guys like you and me. I recommend you start with the level one system, which comes with all the basics. A daily face wash to get rid of dirt and grime on your skin. A two times per week exfoliating scrub to get rid of dead skin cells. An AM moisturizer with SPF 20 because you should always be protecting your skin from the sun. And of course, a PM moisturizer to keep your skin hydrated and healthy throughout the night. My favorite part about Teach Handling is that every box comes with an instruction card that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. They really make the process of achieving and maintaining amazing skin super easy. In addition to amazing skin, members of Teach Handling get tons of benefits, including 30% off retail price, the ability to customize your box, exclusive monthly deals, pause or cancel at any time, and free U.S. shipping. And because Teach Handling is sponsoring today's video, they're offering you guys an amazing Deal. Just click the link in the description and you'll get 30% off your first box. Plus a free gift. Seriously, that's an amazing deal. So click the link and get started today. All right, number three, patience. Patience pays with women. They won't tell you this. They won't tell you they appreciate you not texting them right back, not hitting them up first, not double texting, not pressing them about just anything, really, you know? timely manners or how they lagging or all of that being thirsty you know women love a man that can just sit and wait but not sit and wait they doing stuff but they know they can hit her up later they don't have to press her they ain't got to do the most it said delivered it went through if she says i'll text you later i'll hit you up later and you're thinking later's at the most five hours, right? It's been 
seven hours, eight hours. It's been a whole 24. If she has not hit you up, that doesn't mean, oh, I'm gonna hit her up, maybe she forgot. She ain't forget. She knows exactly what she's doing. She either's not interested, or she's testing you to see if you got the memo and got the patience, all right? And then if you do, she's gonna hit you up, hey, sorry, I've been super busy, da 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 Hey man, what are you doing? Da, da, da. She's more eager, more anxious to hit you up, more excited, because now she knows you got the patience. Maybe you, it wasn't even patience. Maybe you was just really doing other stuff and you really just forgot about her. So now she's trying to validate that you know she still exists. I told him I was gonna hit him up later, but I didn't hit him up, and now he's just not hitting me up. I'm like, what's going on? Most guys, but they just hit me up. And you're not most guys, bro. But if you wanna be, you can do all the other stuff and be thirsty and have no patience. But that's not why you here. That's not what you're gonna learn. All right, number four, being a little jealous. This might throw you off because you might be like, Mystic, being jealous is not good at all, right? If dudes are talking to her, I should be secure with myself. She'll think I'm insecure if I'm, you know, showing any signs of jealousy. Look, man, I'm telling you, of course women won't tell you this, that they like a little jealousy in a man. I'm not saying be overly, what the hell, I can't believe it. why are you talking to that dude? Oh, where are you at? Oh, what you doing? I wonder what the hell going on over there. It's all about the approach, bruh. If you show sometimes like, damn, you getting a lot of attention. You making me jealous out here. Playful with it, right? Oh, man, I can't take you nowhere. Like, you always got the eyes on you. Oh, man, I don't know. I don't know. This is going to work out. But you're not, like, making it a big deal. You're not talking about it nonstop. You made a little joke, a little remark. It shows that you notice and you kind of feel a type of way. Like, okay, you know. Oh, you was talking to that dude. How you know that dude? dude we go, is this going to be an issue? We got a problem? He's just a friend, stop it, oh my god, don't worry about him, you don't need to worry about him. Yeah, alright. Shit, we gonna see. See how, how friendly you guys gonna get, huh? Yeah, alright, yeah. Cause look, you still need to set boundaries. You still need to have standards and, and you know, boundaries in the relationship. Right, like, what is okay and what is not okay? That shows that you care, you have a certain normal amount of jealousy, and she's gonna appreciate that. You're not overly controlling about it. You let her know, hey, this is what is not okay. I'm just letting you know that right now. Because my feelings are enough to where this would hurt my feelings. And if you sitting here as a man thinking, oh, you can't show you have feelings and express you have feelings, you're not a man, all right? <laughs> you all care. You all, that's why you're watching these videos because you have feelings attached. It's about not expressing them overtly, right? But just enough, finding that balance and making her know that you do care and that you are invested in what you guys are building. But at the same time, you care more about yourself, your sanity, your peace of mind, that you will put your feelings and all of that aside to keep this and maintain this peace of mind. So if she crosses any lines and any boundaries, she knows it's over with. Right? But there's the opposite side where you super jealous and super paranoid and super all this anxious that you start to put up with all the stuff that she's doing. And that's what we're not gonna do, okay? That's a different type of jealousy. That's not the jealousy I'm talking about. So I think you guys get it, all right? All right, number five, fifth and final thing. I mean, there's many more things, but for this video, um, you planning things out. Women don't tell you, hey, plan, plan things out for us. Can you plan these things? I mean, they might, but for the most part, they ain't gonna let you know straight up. They might do little hints here and there. Um, what are we doing for New Year's? <laughs> AK, plan it out, bruh. If you want some Bunani, you gonna plan out the party. So, what you gotta do is just plan little things here and there. Plan dates, plan fun things to do, little getaways. Shows that you care, shows that you putting in effort. But you're not doing it like in a simple way, like, oh, I'm gonna do this and do this for you, babe, and do, and trying to like prove yourself. You're just doing it like it's just natural. Like, you know, I'm the man, I'm just gonna make things happen. It doesn't have to be super extravagant, super expensive, nothing like that. It's just the thought that counts, especially in a relationship where it's an extended period of time. You're not gonna be doing over the top stuff every day, every other day, every week. But you're doing little things and you're making the decisions. Women like men that are decisive. That's a main characteristic of being a man, having decisive behavior and actions. So you do that, she's gonna be driven, bruh, like a faucet. <laughs> All 
All right. Anyways, that is it for the video for the day. If you guys liked it, please do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button down below. Also down below, download Winning With Women. Copy some Cancel The Wedding Drip, CancelTheWedding.com. And until next time, focus on you and the women will too. I know some bitties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection.